it's Kendra and I'm here with another one of my 31 projects in 31 days. My series where I take something from my craft stash and make something out of it every day for the month of October. My project today is this. Yes, it's lovely, huh? It's a teapot cozy. I will show you what it looks like on my teapot in just a minute. The reason for it is not for making tea. I have over here a essential oil diffuser which requires water and I have to fill it up more than once a day to keep it going. And I was tired of walking back and forth with like piddly amounts of water that it required. So I fill this teapot up with water and I just leave it in this room and I fill it as needed and then when this gets empty I go and fill this up. But as you'll notice this is a very springy teapot. Didn't really match with the fall theme I'm going with right now. So it needed fall cozy. So I had this brown skein of like peaches and cream or whatever dishcloth cotton in stash as well as this Lily sugar and cream um, which I'd actually gotten as like a, a summery color and I was going to do something with and I never got around to. Looked at it paired with brown and was like hmm that's kind of folly. So the way I made my cozy I made up my own pattern. My favorite increased circles on the bottom just done in a simple increase until I got to the size of the bottom of the pot. Then, and I did that in single crochet. Then I went and I did one round in the back loop only which will give you a ridge and also make your bottom sit flat and your edges head up with a nice flat bit to set down on instead of having that rounded corner. Then I did one that round in single crochet in the back loop only to give me the ridge. Then I switched to double crochet. And I did three rounds of double crochet, just continuing in pattern. I didn't do any increases or anything. Then I needed somewhere to stick my handle and my spout. So I split it. And I started working back and forth instead of in the round over half the stitches. And I did that. And I did... Um, like four rows and then I started working from the other end of my ball. I've been pulling from the center. So I started working from the outside of my ball and started on the other side and I did four rows back and forth across the rest of the stitches. This is because I wanted to use all of the brown yarn I had and I didn't want to end up like having it uneven. So I did four rows and then I did the fifth row on this side and the fifth row on this side and I went back and forth until I ran out of brown or I knew I was coming up to running out of brown. And I tried it on my teapot gave it a little try on session and it fit but it was going to need just a couple more rounds so I did one round of double crochet where I picked up the back piece so I went all the way around and I used a slip stitch to hold them together so then it's kind of funny you end up with a double crochet that's attached to the top and not the bottom so then I did another round of double crochet to kind of pick up the weird um the top bit and give it a little more stability at the corners but on those stitches, I did double crochet, chain one, skip a space, double crochet, chain one, skip a space. And it made this like eyelidy bit, which I then was able to string my tightening string through. Then I attached the variegated, did a row of single crochet all the way around, row of double crochet, row of single crochet, and then I did this little pattern that I made up. And I actually intentionally left the pattern with kind of a gap because I didn't want as many floofy doodles on the side where my spout comes out because I didn't want them to get in my way. So I did double crochets and then I just did this um, three double crochets, uh, pico, so two and then um, slip stitch back, and then another three and then skip one. I did three single crochets, then another one of the little bits, the little shell I guess. So I did all of those around and then I finished it off. Then to make my strap, I chained till it was the appropriate length that I was going to want. Then I slip stitched back through all those stitches. And then rather than um, weaving my ends back in, I just tied a knot, like three or four really tight knots and clipped right against it. I have done it where I weave the ends back in, but I find that the end gets kind of crisp and I didn't want that. So this will be fine. It's not going to get washed a huge amount, though it can. But it shouldn't need to be washed as often, even if I use it for tea because it's brown, so it's not like it's gonna stain like some lighter tea cozies I have made. So now I'm gonna get my pot dressed and then I'll show you what she looks like. And here it is. So it just slips on 
spout sticks out one side, handle sticks out the other, cute little bit on the top, and then it just kind of futs with the bow till it's in a way that I enjoy. And then I can set it up and it'll be pretty and it matches a little more. It doesn't stick out so much, but um, I really like the pot as far as other use. So this is a way for me to use one pot that I enjoy for multiple seasons. So that's it for today's project. If you'd like to see more of my Vlogtober series 31 projects in 31 days, please check out the playlist on my channel or you can check out my daily vlogs where you can always keep up to date with what I'm crafting. There's always something going on around here. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!